can I please just get out without being arrested? No, no, because can't. I haven't done anything. Just get on my nerves. Stop. Step forward with that. All you gotta do is get out of the car. But I haven't in the realm of a web of criminal activities, four distinct affairs unfold, each narrating a tale of law enforcement's relentless pursuit of wrongdoing. Come on out! Hands. Let me see your hands! We got a ring of Get out now! From a woman who thought escalating the situation was a good idea to someone trying to run away from cops. Altitude 12 stick hit, I believe on all four tires. These incidents offer glimpses of criminal minds and how law enforcement took the necessary actions to catch these culprits. What's your name? You're in a stolen car. Well, I, I'm telling you that now, you're in a stolen car. The incident revolves around a 36 years old woman named Sarah. On December 28th, 2022, officers on patrol spotted a black vehicle suspected of being stolen. Upon approaching the car, they noticed a suspicious woman sitting inside. The officers immediately decided to investigate further. The officer tried to do his due diligence, but the woman decided to be uncooperative instead. Despite the cop's attempts to resolve the matter in a civil manner, the woman kept escalating the situation. Eventually, the cop had no other choice but to take a hard stand against her delinquency. Will the woman finally comply? Let's find out. Open the door. Open the door. 526 dispatch. Out with a occupied stolen Sunoco wing in Wyoming. Open the door. Go to the other side and go through the other door. Open the door. Open the door. I'm gonna break the window. Open the door. Open. The Open the door. No. No. No, do not grab anything. No. Dispatch, did you say that is verified? Open the window. Open. Open it. Open it. Come out. Come out. Come out. The vehicle's stolen. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Open the open the door. It's a stolen vehicle. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Open the door. I'm in the gas station. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. No, she tried to climb up in the front once and... Was there a driver? Was she the only one in the car? She was in the back seat when I pulled up on it. Well, you now are, uh, you now are under arrest. I really don't want to break this poor person's window. <laughs> but. What's the owner? What's the owner look like? Did you see her in the front at all? No, she's just in the back. I didn't actually even realize she was back there until I walked up to. Her purse is in the passenger. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the driver's in the gas station. I just I wasn't gonna go. I saw her here. I'm like I'm not leaving her. What's her name? You're in a stolen car. Well, I, I'm telling you that now, you're in a stolen car. Open the door. I really don't want to break this window, of, but she's refusing to come out. Come out. I'll let you talk to her. Sorry. 
I'm Sergeant Say at the Dayton Police Department. Step outside the car now. This car is stolen. You need to step out of the car. We'll work on that. We'll figure that out. All right. If you cooperate, you'll probably just go home. You'll get to go. You're not cooperating. You're not stepping outside the car. You need to step outside the car. We're, we're going to break the window out and drag you out, and then you will definitely go to jail. All right. Step out. It's confirmed stolen, right? Mm-hmm. Where's the, do we know who the driver is? No, he said the driver took off. Uh, he was in the store. So, so there's probably video at least though. Right now you're obstructing our investigation, okay? So you step out now or you'll go to jail for obstructing official business, all right? I've given you ample opportunity to step out of the car and you're not doing it, all right? I've asked you several times, this officer's asked you several times to step out of the car. If you don't do it, we're going to break out the window and you're going to go to jail 100%. And you're going to get thrown on the ground. Okay? So either you step out willingly or we come in and get you. Step out. Step out. Step out of the car. It's not your show. It's a police officer. I'm telling you to get out of the car. You got 10, ten seconds we'll tell him to bust out the window and we'll drag you out. I've been talking to you for five minutes. I'll give you ample opportunity. Step out of the car. Out of the car now. Step out. Thank you. Step over there. Okay, it's a lighter. So okay, no. I got you. Okay, just can I please just get out without being arrested? No, no you Because can't. I haven't done anything. Just get on my nose. Stop. Step over there. All you gotta do is get out of the car. But I haven't done anything. You're in a stolen car, and you're not getting out of the but car. I'm when we told you to get out. It doesn't matter. Well, what am I being detained for? Currently, right for? Can I please have my cigarette? Nope. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Very simple. And there's crack pipe right there next to you too. After the woman began to comply, the officers wasted no time in following the proper legal procedures. They also left no stone unturned in a bid to gather evidence that would assist them in solving this incident. Got any needles on you? Knives, no. needles? No. Sorry. Who's driving? Uh, his name is James. That's all I know. James? He's giving me all these my toothpicks. I apologize. I don't have anything on me. Where do you pick you up at? On the north side. And I'm literally going right here. I don't have anything to do with this vehicle. You're in it. Yeah, you're in it. I'm just getting a ride, though. I'm a passenger. Okay, let's come sit. Do I really have to get in the back yep. of the vehicle? Yes, you do. You were in the back of that vehicle. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's a different ride. I hate these things. The back door's unlocked. That's the wrong one. So I'm being arrested? <laughs> More likely. Tell me what I've done I've right now, what I'm in handcuffs for. We've already explained it to you. But I have nothing to do with whatever ha this vehicle done you, prior to picking me up. You have a lot to do with because you were in it. I have been very cooperative no, thus far, been. and you scared the shit out of me. Well, for good reason, I approached the car with a gun, given that there's magazines in the car, which tells me that the person who was in the car probably has a gun. Um, so I had good reason to approach this, st this stolen car with a gun. Of the driver of that know, car? Uh, I Come. had a no password. My brother is... Uh, uh, 10.30. At 10.30 he comes in? Yeah. Okay. Um, at some point, we'll need the yeah, video guy, yes. of him. Yeah. So did he leave as soon as I pulled up, pretty much? All right. Yeah. I got all videos. Parking uh -huh. lot, backside, you said. You knew that this vehicle was stolen. No, I did not. When I walked up to the door, something was going on. Well, you just kind of freaked me out. You seem pretty aggressive. Okay. Are you okay? Um, currently, no. This is like up. Okay. What did he look like? He looked like uh, that guy, different. Uh, uh, Yes. Uh, you purchase, I think, uh, uh, 
చాక్లెట్ దిస్ వన్ చాక్లెట్ మిల్క్ మౌంటెన్ డూ డిఫరెంట్ లుకింగ్ when ever came uh, police chief you ju- when you when you just pulled off he looked at you and uh, yeah he looked in space so we got the suspicion and we put that bill aside okay yeah uh, okay so then which direction did he leave uh, I, we i don't know that actually we are busy that time yeah i understand yeah so, if we can just if one at 10:30 yeah, yeah, when he yeah, comes to pull yeah, the video yeah. um the car was stolen out of oakwood so oakwood will probably come yeah. and uh, attempt to Okay. Look at the video. May I go now? No. No. So no. even after I open the door for you and have nothing to do with whatever is going on. That's fine. You're like I told you now. You are in a stolen vehicle. You are refusing nothing. to identify yourself. I told you my name. I just okay. That's fine. You're going to go to jail. You're going to go to jail for obstructing official business. Um You're making these decisions. We'll fingerprint you at the jail. to find out who you are. You can't arrest me. That's like okay. against my constitutional rights. For what reason? This vehicle has nothing to do with me. Finally, the officers were able to find what they were looking for. Meanwhile, the woman kept up her defiant act. After a while, the officers had enough of her attitude and proceeded to take her where she belonged. Is that going to be the best of his like face? Can I can you pause it real quick for me? Let me really snap a picture of his clothes. I have this suitcase in there with my makeup. There's no drugs, nothing. I have no drugs on me. You've already searched me. And I have nothing to do with that. I was getting a ride. You said that I would be able to go. No, you did not. I said if I cooperate, am I going to be able to go? And you ma'am, said yes and ma'am. shook your head. Ma'am, it's very simple. I did what you asked. I'll just hit play on the on the body cam and we can play it all backwards. I'm I don't want to play anything. I just don't have anything to do with it and I open the door like you asked me to. Well, and now I'm under that, arrest. Is that in the like, under what the jurisdiction? But I mean at this point in time I'd like to just exercise my right for a lawyer because the, uh, for no reason am I being arrested, pulled out of a vehicle and threatened no, right now. Plenty of reasons you're getting pulled out. My of the cigarettes in my suitcase so taken. You need to tell me what your social security number is or you'll get another charge for failure to I would like to speak to a lawyer. That then work with that. You need to tell me who you are. You're obstructing this investigation with tell me who you are. What is it? What is it against my rights that you told There's me I would be fine? I have rights. nothing to do with this you have vehicle. To identify yourself to a law I did. Officer. You're not. What's your social security number? Under what cause am I being arrested? And am I in the back of this this vehicle you're detained? Inside a stolen car. That has you're nothing to, to do with car. me. I'm a passenger in the back seat clearly. In the car. So you're getting charged with it. It's not There's no way. A passenger who did exactly what you asked her. this I'll keep start non cooperation now you're going to get charged with failure to disclose your information you get charged with obstructing the official I asked for a lawyer and drug paraphernalia I haven't done anything and I don't have any drug paraphernalia on it's me right there next to you just sit right next to your legs can you release these handcuffs what's that off of me no you are going to run the record here or play for me sit back you told me if I open the door I would be fine you are fine so you lied no I said you are fine. I haven't done anything. I, I did exactly what you asked. May I please have these handcuffs removed and let go? Out of the car. Seat belt. Oh, let's go and lean back. So much easier to see before. It's not enough. Run her, run her to jail, and we'll be off the pier until it's gone. We don't have to do a toast screen on this, do we? It's falling down. That's my thought, so. Um, she's still got some bracelets and stuff on. Okay. That's all that she has. Um, so I don't have anything. She- I have I don't know her name so I can't tell how anything. 
Sarah was charged with refusing to disclose personal information, obstructing official business, and possessing drug paraphernalia. While Sarah's uncooperative behavior almost ended tragically, our next individual engaged in a pursuit and did an amusing stunt to evade her arrest. But before that, let's see somebody who committed a severe crime and also displayed awkward behavior toward law enforcement. Because I've been trying to do work, y'all work, bro. I'm broke. So, so who are you working for today? Nobody. I'm homeless, bro. The incident revolved around a man named Timothy. On the 7th of March, 2023, in Palm Coast, Flagler County, Florida, Deputy Jekovic observed a suspicious male acting erratically and then entering a vehicle at a gas station in Palm Coast. After sensing something was wrong, he started to follow it. The police began a chase against the vehicle. They deployed strategic measures to regain control. However, the suspect could not be easily apprehended and the cops realized it. Utilizing advanced resources, they sought to apprehend Timothy. Did their efforts translate into success? Silver Dodge Ram, black belt driver. That one. Anyone on Old Kings that can set up sticks if they're approved? I'm not pursuing. We have an in and out of traffic, I see him in the distance. He's still continuing south, just past Farmsworth. Should be coming up to the park here in a minute. What charges do you have? Just fleeing or looting and possibly the stolen 28. That's not confirmed yet. Temper, 6132. So like, let's get our TCC up to Victor Call the vehicle. And we can use the sticks on it. Flyer, if you notify the big speed, please about having a little bit of 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 a little Two twelve. We'll be setting up sticks at the United Five on ramp. That's the BMW on uh, Old King. We'll see it's still weaving into our traffic. There's heavy traffic up there now. Two twelve. We confirm the description of that vehicle one more time. Do a model silver Dodge Ram. All right, I'm trying to see that ahead of me. I think it's passing the substation now. Still going south. Now, still going south. Coming up to the park one. Hello, 
around the Shell gas station, turning in the fourth street. She turned in the Shell. Alpha 212 stick hit, I believe on all four tires. All four tires hit. Northbound 95, please notify. We're laying line with FHP. Check availability of power flight in case the driver's release. Go to Geneva is one bailing. One bailing. Two zero five of Black Veil walking northbound in the southbound lane. Black backpack, white t shirt, blue jeans. Unknown if the vehicle is still occupied. I need a unit southbound to stop this mail. 10-4, black male walking northbound and southbound lanes, black backpack, white t-shirt. 212, that one that bailed out just went into the woods, headed west, 95. I just want to confirm, there's one subject walking northbound and southbound lanes, and another subject that went west. Can you be the only one I've called? I actually. Woodline right there by where the post is at? Just so cool. White t shirt, black bat. So yeah, I'm gonna get my rifle. Can you get us over by the on that subject number? Hey, man, go hold it. Flag it out for 111. 111, I'm 51 to Boulder Rock. 10-4, it's going to be in the area of 201 Boulder Rock. 201 Boulder Rock. Yeah, right in here. Black male, white t-shirt, black backpack. 6134, let's get a perimeter set up, please. Somebody get on the radio, you've got the perimeter points. 10-4. Alpha 212, Mount K9, we're tracking. 10-4, we're getting somebody to pull the rock. Can you hold this stuff down for me? This way. You heard him slam this car? Gotcha. Okay, thank you.
Where are you coming from? Well, we still have that vehicle. Jackson. Yeah, what number? Is it? Yeah, it's a number. During the apprehension, law enforcement unearthed more conspicuous matters regarding him, hence the crime list for Timothy only increased considerably. As a result, the cop's response was also consummate, according to his mischief. Despite the gravity of his crimes, Timothy continued to exhibit reckless behavior. I want to get a description of what he I know he had a, a white, white uh, t-shirt, a uh, white sweatshirt. One of the neighbors down there, this guy was just hanging over here. One of the neighbors down there saw the guy run. Uh, yeah, he took a picture. Black backpack, white t shirt, baggy t shirt. Any units that are 295, if we can do some perimeter points just in case. Yeah, Boulder Rock and Boston. Where do you live at, bro? And you want to be Boulder Rock. See them tell why I'm out here? I'm trying to do some yard work. Trying to do some like a landscaping or a clear yard or something. The thing that's throwing everybody off is he doesn't have a one to shoot off. Yeah, he took it off. Yeah, so that's going to be him. Right, I'm going to secure him and I'm going to read him around. Yeah, I would secure him. Let me go over there and look at that sign. Alright. Alright. So if we get some things figured out, I'm going to put you in here. Okay, turn on. I'll explain it to you here in a second. I'm going to read you the rights and all that, and then we'll have a conversation. You can still smoke, right? Yeah, it's He was, uh, when I initially saw him, he was walking out of Circle K and Kingswood. If somebody can go there and look at the video. They found the white t-shirt. Yeah. Where did they? Circle, Circle K and Kingswood. If somebody can look at the video there. I'll, I'll go over there. Circle K and Kingswood. What is that? Circle K and Kingswood? Um, Old Kings and Kingswood? Okay. By the hotels? Yeah. He walked out of there, got in the truck. The truck was parked in the side parking lot. I'll go look at the video then. 
Kingswood, he's he's going there. These guys right here. Oh, yeah. oh, they're cars over there. So he went across, tried that deal, went behind. Yeah, we have a t-shirt. He thinks we're behind house 56. Alright, 6130, advise you need a drone on the What's going on? Can somebody just let him know if he's secure? I mean, like, what's going on? I'm gonna, let me read this What's your name again? You have the right to remain silent. Anything that you can get in front of you. Mind you, Mr. Doctor. Man, I'm good. I just, I don't know. It's yes or no. Do you want to talk to me or no? Talk to you. Do you understand those rights? Do you want me to ask you questions or anything like that? Okay. So, um, I had a vehicle take off from here. Okay. Um, you matched the description to the T. The only thing, the only thing different is we're not wearing a white T-shirt. Found the white T-shirt. Okay. Let me tell you something. What? We have. Surveillance video. We have witnesses that saw the person running. Okay, you're the only person around this area. So when we look at when we look at the video at Circle K, you're not going to be on that, that video. I now wear a white t-shirt with a black t-shirt because when you originally walked out of Circle K, you had a black t-shirt. No, I did not. So what did you have on? Black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Get him. Did you go to the Circle K there? No. Huh? No. Right. Where did you, you come from? Yeah, I've been walking around trying to do some job. Man, like, groundwork. Though. I'm trying to do, like, landscape and trying to clean the yard. Let's see. I'm um, homeless. I got nowhere to go. There's, like, where, so where have you been sleeping over here? In the woods. I've been sleeping. Basically, to be honest, I just came over here. But I've been sleeping in the woods. Here, stop out real quick. Is, was somebody going over there? I was, I was trying to go over there. Yes. Yeah. Good. Listen, uh, I was. Nothing. We got your t shirt, by the way. There's a whole. That's not my t shirt. There's a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Listen, there's a whole lot of stuff pointing at you. I don't understand why you're over there. Oh. Oh. There's a whole lot of stuff pointing at you. That's yeah, why. I, mean, I, I just want to see like how y'all gonna see me and say that that's my white t-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> this this because I've been trying to do work, y'all work, bro. I'm broke. So who are you working for today? Nobody. I'm homeless, bro. So you wandered up into this neighborhood just to see if someone had yard work for yeah, you? Yeah, man. Where's your yard work I mean, supplies? I don't need that. I pick it on my hand, bro. Okay. okay. I, I pick, I'm, 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 you have anybody any other clients that you've worked for today? Or I was out of the ring. I'm telling you, I was the ring, ring doorbell and asked people for the work. But there's no one that you've worked for in the past that could vouch that you do that? Dude, I'm that homeless, bro. I'm trying to my money to support my, support my head. Right. So, I, I, I got to draw So something. I've never seen you in this area. Where are you usually homeless at? All over. No pain. Where's all over the United yeah. States? Yeah. I'm not going to see you there. You can try to pick me. Whatever. You guys think I did something? No, listen. Proof. Like, like short proof. Yeah, that's I haven't story, bought nobody. I haven't did nothing to nobody. I haven't with nobody, okay? Okay, so, so if you guys think that I did, I don't know what the hell to tell you. I did not bother nobody, okay? I'm, I'm homeless. I got, I'm, I'm an addict. I got a dish problem, okay? I have no money to get my drugs, okay? I'm trying to get some money for the drugs, okay? So y'all make all the unnecessary stuff for nothing at all. Bro. If you want to stick with the Yardberg story, by all means, I wish you luck with all that. But thank you. Don't no, put that t-shirt in my pocket. That is not my t-shirt, sir. That's right. Like, how you paying a t-shirt on somebody that's not mine? Oh. Well, my you, ass, bro. I'm going to do that at all. Period. Do you want me to explain it to you? No, you can't no, explain you? nothing to me because I know what the hell I got on. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you took it off. It's, it's as simple as that. You take it off. Bro, 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 bro. You think that you're going to go? I mean, I, I'm, I'm not about The bottom circle. line is, I, I'm saw, not, I saw you. Bro, I'm not I, about to go maybe. I haven't been nowhere, but walking around trying to give me a little money. The bottom line money, is, bro. I saw you walk out of Circle K. When? When? Probably half hour ago now. Half hour. But we're going to look at the video. We're going to confirm everything. Right. And then right. uh, we'll go from there. Right. All right. Go. How'd you get way back in this neighborhood, though, if you were just walking around looking? Like, where'd you start from? Where'd you walk from? You don't want to talk anymore? 
Y'all walking through here. Y'all gonna blame a for walking through Johnny Bishop. Y'all work? I ain't gotta spend my stuff no you. Go find a suspect. Go find him. Do it then. Thank you. Oh, you fit the description. They gonna put out your white. Oh, you like white t shirt. Time off. Time my face. Pull the door to go. Y'all wanna do? Let's get it! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Well, where's my goddamn ass? I'm at it! Y'all f with my money! Get my goddamn So f y'all! Let's go! 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 Come on! I respect that guy. I really, really, really. We're not here to hurt you, man. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Can you step out closer? We're going to just make sure you don't have anything dangerous. You got it? Yes, sir. So, do you have any problem with us searching your pocket mm -hmm. just to make sure? Obviously, you guys, I respect you guys. What do you guys got to do, man? Thank you. I mean, you know, hey, I, I don't want no smoke out of my cigarette. Yeah. I am not going to smoke your cigarette. <laughs> my wife would kill me. <laughs> I respect you guys. You know, why when you guys told me to stop, I stopped, man. You guys don't even feel, man. You guys don't even feel, dude. And you, you like, literally, a person running through the woods, a person running through the woods, when they had, like, wood or stuff on them, it's all I got. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I may not know what, I may not know the exit, you know. But I bet you what happened. 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 I bet you what Look at me, literally. literally. Right. This is Pony Work. Police work. Then you back up against the car. Look, police work. Then you back up. Look, police work. And person running from the law, right? You're on the law, you officer. You know a suspect. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, push. Take a bitch. Get me off. Listen. Get me off. Do I got cut, dude? Look. Cuts. Sir. Sir. Okay, we're going to figure it out. All we're asking for is a couple minutes, okay? So we're not going to be mean to you. We're not going to beat you up. We're not going to treat you. We're going to treat you like an adult. Like you, human being, understand that we're trying to do our jobs. What do you do for work? Okay, so that's, you got, you got, you got, you got, I got, so I got so much green business management and marketing. I got to kind of. That's good. When, 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 if you, if you are doing landscaping, and we are trying to do something on a lawn, and you're telling us you need us to wait a minute so that you can finish your job. Oh, has he been met Miranda? Yeah. yeah. You understand your rights? Okay. I've been doing this for a very long time, okay? I'm telling you right now, we all know exactly what's going on. You trying to deny it and tell us that as much as you that I was yelling at it, it's only going to make matters worse. Do you understand? When, when you're not accept, when you get caught, listen, the game is the game, okay? We are we are on different ends of the chessboard. It's, it's checkered. It's checkered. Okay, you have you have lost. We have caught you. You're in a spot that you didn't think you were going to be at. You're not familiar. It is what it is. What we need to do is get some level of honesty so that we can speed it up, get you to where you need to go. All right, the war, George is not going to extradite you for the warrants, but you telling us that that wasn't you that I saw leaving that truck is not going to make anything better for you. You understand, man? I, I'm standing right behind you. I can see you. Well, lying to us, what is that going to do for you? It's just going to make the judge and the attorneys look at you like, like you're not a good person. Just take it aside. Hey, you're, you're not a bad guy, man. You're not a bad guy. Listen, what was your first name? Tim. Tim. I understand the instinct to not get into something when you get caught doing it, and you're not red-handed, right? You understand? Like, I didn't, I didn't drop you coming out of the car, and then you and I are face to face. You made it through the woods. I was not going to run into oncoming traffic. I'm too old and too fat for that. You understand? So, but you put yourself in danger. All you've got right now, man, is whatever's going on with that car. You understand? You were in a car that you probably weren't supposed to be in. That's it. That's it. What, what else are we talking about? You didn't kill anybody. You didn't kill anybody. All right. So, the honesty part is the part that the courts are going to have to do. You're sitting here lying to us.
Also, we're going to have you on video in a couple minutes also, but you left some stuff behind. We have all that. Okay? If I tell you what you dropped, that doesn't benefit me. Okay? Right, what did I drop? You dropped some stuff leaving that car. Listen, I watched you walk away. I watched you pulling up the pants just like that. I, I know what I know. I'm old, but I ain't blown. All right, man? So just trust me. Trust me when I tell you that you want to be painted in the best light possible. And the best light possible is for you to be honest and say, I f***ed up. Show me some respect, and we'll show you the same respect. But by you lying to us, it just doesn't make anything easy. Not fun. Okay. All right. So tell me what you did, so that we can just confirm that we're on the same page. I went to home, so bam. So I'm driving. I went to. I went to. I went to. I went to the store. Bam. The white guy in the store. I don't know. Circle back. Hey, the stuff. Yep, yep. Push it. Doing pushing? Yeah, like, like, you know, like, oh, like, like questioning you? Nah, uh, it's like pushing. Come in heat. Right there. Okay. Bring y'all up, up there. So I do like what they do. They want What's like my hot dog? You want hot dog? Really, really, really hot. Really, I'm trying to do Jackson. So I'm trying to do Jackson. So what's he my hot dog? Soon as I go, he almost never hit me. Oh, you watch me do first man. That person did that one. Fair enough. Definitely, he must call out. Cause he, I see what I see. What's he? Thank you. Okay. I ain't did nothing at all. I ain't did nothing at all. I'm gonna be really. Like, then the truck that guy is mine to be borrowed. Okay. So where the, okay, so if you they let you borrow, where's the guy that let you borrow? Uh, they, no. Well, I don't know, like what city? Right. Okay. So then the guy lets you borrow the car. Okay. So then you leave the you leave the gas station. Yeah, I I, I love I love Miami and the border. Okay. And then so but when you left the gas station, you saw the police car behind you. And then what did you do? He, because he turned the lights on. Yeah. And then you said what? Uh, and then, and I, that's not like, man, I don't know, do what is he stolen or something? I did get drugs for him. Okay. Yeah, I did get drugs he for him. You drive pretty wild. You go inside, it gets congested down Dude, here. you're lucky you're alive, man, because the crashes up there are, are pretty, really, really serious. Uh, yeah, that's a good drive, man. That's a good train, too. I got to give it to you, though. You are, you're a good driver. I had a train, too. Man, I got to have some training. I bought that. Hey, Chief, we're good. We can close down the channel. Cut out Firefly, we're good. Okay, um, so I said Firefly. Yeah. Said, instead of Firefly. Okay, so now everything is going to move a lot faster. You are not going to be held in the back of a hot car for much longer, okay? We're going to take you in. Are you aware of your warrants out of Georgia? We called them. They said that they don't want to pick you up, okay? So you're good with that for right now? Um, that's not good with the car. So when I get into the way I get a joke, oh yeah, I hate that part. You got all type of hot shit in your car, bro. So I'm like, okay, so okay, I'm gonna take it once, but I'm thinking, bro, I'm gonna take it once. Yeah. You and saw then, me at the gas station, right? We locked eyes, and uh, I can move. You still drove right by me. I was expecting you to go the other way. Yeah, I didn't know, bro. I mean, I wonder why I like, why this cop I have to hit him, but I've been seeing him. You hit last, man. I don't know you. Uh, I saw the tag had a had a little marker on it. Did you did you fill in the the letter to make it look different? I ain't know that was on it. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so you didn't you didn't do Is anything to the tag? No, no. Anyways, when I seen you, bro, when I seen you, I like okay, you like I ain't did that. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you being honest about it now. For sure. That goes a long way. And I, I, I always mention that in the reports and everything. All right. What's going on there? Well, and listen, just so you understand, like, I've been a detective for many years. I talk to the state attorney's office all the time. Honesty helps you out, makes you look like not such a bad guy, okay? So he's definitely going to document all that. Well, ultimately, you're in possession of a stolen car, okay? Uh, you fled from, from this deputy, okay? And then now the stuff in the car. Let's talk about that. Right. What you're saying it was in there before you got it. Yeah, do it. If it's in there, what's in there? I have no idea. It's a bunch of clothes and shoes. A lot of a lot of stuff here. Maybe all the stuff is in there.
if you would have pulled, if you would have gotten seen the gun in your hand, that would have been a good thing. You didn't do that, so I appreciate it. Okay, but you had a gun in the backpack, and you just found it. Okay, so we have that. Are you a convicted felon? Yeah. Uh, still not. Okay, so you've been convicted. Okay. So that, the gun is going to have your fingerprints on it, your DNA on it. DNA doesn't go anywhere. We have stuff that we can test it right now. Um, again, going back to the honesty, what kind of is the gun stuff? Uh, is it legit? Okay, so what's yours? What caliber? And the uh, yeah, we got our the hostile nature of Timothy didn't work, and the officer notified him about the forthcoming storm he would face. But at the end of the day, listen, right, you're alive, you're breathing, nobody hit you, nobody hurt you. You can get tased, you can get well, pepper sprayed. Well, right now it's going to be possession of a, a stolen vehicle, and then, um, fleeing to a loop, and then uh, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and resisting an officer without violence, okay? But listen, the charges are the charges. Doesn't mean they're convictions, but also is that uh, you'll have a bond first thing in the morning. You gotta remind you, man. It does, I understand that, yeah, but it, it's a lot better having a bond than being held with no bond because we can't identify it because of whatever other reason, all right? But listen, you gotta understand something, all right? Flagler County is not the place you wanna go if you are riding dirty. That is a fact, all right? So unfortunately, you entered the wrong county today. This is one of the best guys out here. He saw you, right time, right place. And listen, God had decided that that was the time for you to get caught. And it is what it is. You're safe, you're, you're not hurt, we're not hurt. It's all good, man. It could have been a lot, lot worse. You understand? Okay, so I'm glad you're happy and healthy. You're not happy, but I'm glad, I'm glad you're healthy, okay? And you didn't get hurt or anything like that. But I appreciate you being honest with me, okay? So we're gonna speed up this process. We're gonna make sure you're not standing out here in the hot and so on and long, and we're gonna get you to breathe better, all right? Sure, you don't want me to call anybody for you? Attorney, a brother, sister, mom. Okay. Well, we'll assign an attorney to you. This is some of the best public defenders over here on Flagler County. Listen, if you want to know, I'll tell you what, man. If you were going to go to any county jail, this is the county jail to go. All right, we got tablets for you. We got good food. We got medical care. You're going to be fine. It's, listen, I'm telling you that living the life on the run, knowing that you're right dirty, and knowing that any second from now you're going to get into some big trouble, that's not the way to live. How am I doing it? How am I doing it? Well, you got a stolen truck. And it's got, one of the letters, one of the letters was changed from a P to a B with a permanent marker, man. It was just a, a matter of time before some cop checked out with you. And thank God it was this guy and not some other place where they actually maybe are racist and maybe consider you as a threat to them. Okay? That did not happen today. So today you're good. That's what was true. We can get you a cigarette. Can you sit down for me and let me find your lighter? I got one. Got a lighter. This is a one-stop shop here. Timothy was arrested and charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle, fleeing to elude possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, resisting an officer without violence, burglary of an unoccupied conveyance, petite theft, and driving with no valid license. As mentioned before, now we will see someone who engaged in a frivolous act to fool the cops, but eventually increased her list of crimes. All right, military side, we're getting used to your chest. All right, my knees are kind of numb from sitting there, so I don't know how to get up. All right, go and stand up. The incident is centered around a 29 years old woman. On the 22nd of August, 2022, in Joliet, Will County, Illinois, the police were dispatched to a hospital campus upon learning about a stolen Land Rover. They didn't waste any time reaching the location. But before that, the thief sped away. The police started a chase, and at one point, the woman was incapable of going further. In a daring move that left law enforcement bewildered, she executed a reckless maneuver. Her actions left the deputies speechless. Ultimately, did their efforts culminate in success? Ninety-nine, 
Nah, we're stopping it in the parking lot on night of Ames or Madison. All night of Ames, Madison. I am fixing. Took off from the Alright. Okay. 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 This is the one from Walmart, yeah. I think we're every time they would send us where it was, it was like just moving, so we couldn't find it. Uh, I was, I was now looking at it. I was like, that sounds like plate. But as soon as I walked up to the car and see a screwdriver, I'm like, oh yeah, she definitely <laughs> touched that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was quick. Good time to switch it. Switch it? Ditch the keys and <laughs> The officers still failed to meet the goal. Shortly, they summoned an unexpected ally to mitigate their endeavor. Soon after, they were amazed for obvious reasons. The woman's eventual outcome was both unexpected and amusing. your hands.
Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I am. All the way on the ground. Okay, what else? Put your hands out to your side. How the f is that doing to the track? Got a dog, I told you this. I'm scared you guys are gonna f shoot me. She's in custody. I'm so f scared. You have everything on you? No. I don't have anything. The keys to the car are on the lawn. They're on the lawn? Yes. Where on the lawn? On the middle of the lawn. That's all just pretty good, huh? So give him a treat. Alright, move to your side. We're gonna ease to your chest. Alright, my knees are kinda numb, so I'm sitting there, so I don't know how to go. Alright, one stand up. Stand up. Can you, can you go grab that park, please? Yeah, we will. You guys had a, uh, an exciting night, huh? No? Nobody's gonna talk to you? Is that my car? Come on. I'm just one girl. Shortly afterward, the officers conducted a thorough search of the surroundings, and the end result downright staggered the cops. On the other hand, the woman was placed in troublesome circumstances. She was bound to. That's the second one of the garbage can. What's that? She was in the garbage. <laughs> Go back there. Uh, you don't mind taking her down? Figure out what's going on here. I sat with them and I accidentally tightened okay. them. Go ahead and uh, take the seatbelt off and help. Look at this one. So this all I didn't know they tightened if you freaking sat on them. Want to step up? Go ahead and step this one. Look. 
that's not the one I ran. That's the one I ran. Not the one I ran. That's the one I ran. Who's licensed? Check the proper fit. Oh. Carol, do a GS. Oh, this one right, is way too tight. This one is tighter than they were before. No, yeah. they're tighter than they were before. You can fit your pinky in there, you're good. Yep. I can't fit my pinky in there. Not yours. Uh, I can't fit my pinky in. Look. Not yours, my pinky. I can fit my pinky in there. They're checked and they're double locked for proper fit. They're not. They're Jails here, crazy. Watch what? Bagos, right here, man. You were right. What? It's about being in the general area. Oh yeah. I thought she's. I thought she would take off. Like, no. Like, somewhere busy. Like. Get a hold of no, I'm not gonna take her. Come on. But it's up front. All right. Maybe right before I take you and see what. The woman faced a series of charges, including possession of a stolen vehicle and possession of controlled substances. While the woman failed to evade the arrest by committing an entertaining act, our next individual needlessly made the situation dangerous for himself. What are you reaching for? What's up, bro? The incident centers around a 32 years old man named Richard Zamora. On December 5th, 2020, in Socorro County, New Mexico, Officers tried to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle that had been reported stolen from a horse farm. Instead of stopping, the driver started to accelerate, leading to a police chase. The officers were not willing to let the possible culprit slip away. Soon the chase would take an unexpected turn and the suspect would find himself between a rock and a hard place. Even so, the man decided to act like a belligerent and cause mischief. He's running cars off the road. Super 112, so come. He's uh, running cars off the road. We're still southbound on State Road 1. Uh, I'm not sure the mouthfuls. We're near the dump, nearing the Luis Lopez Bridge. Okay, we're nearing the Luis Lopez Bridge. 
That truck has a governor at 95. Really? Yeah, that's why he's not hauling ass. He's gonna f up this truck. I'm going to ram him if he tries to turn around. This guy knows where he's going. Score 12. The suspect missed the Luis Lopez exit. We're still going to be south on State Road 1. Look at him, 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 look at him. I'm ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Who's this? The suspect's no longer on the roadway. Get off the road. Get out of the way. He's just driving down the middle of I-20. Shit. He's going to run. Freeze right there. Freeze. It's what's his name? He's right down here. Get out of the door! I'm going to walk up there and take him. Get out of the car! You're in trouble, dude! I know where you are, man! You ain't going anywhere! Nope! Get out of the car! I'm going to walk up there and I'm going to chase him. I'm going to walk up there and chase him. He put gasoline in there. Huh? He was... What's up, bitch? <sighs> my radio I don't got my radio either. Get out of the car! Come on, kill me, man! Come on, get out of the car! Hey, come on, man, kill me! No, 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 get over here! You gotta do that, bro, just come on! No, it's gonna happen, man. My wife wants to be a bitch like that, man. Come on! You're fine, oh, man. man. Fucking all these, fucking do all this shit, man. I always fucking do everything. Come on! Don't do this! Fuck you, I'm gonna do it, watch! Hold her, hold her, tell no. her! Hey, Peter! Get a 55 standing by! I'm gonna do it, watch, you owe me! I don't owe you anything! I don't owe you anything! Oh, you know you, you know me! Know me. I know you! No. Why you wanna do it? Cause my wife already told me! Hey, hey, call her watch. I'm gonna do it. Hey, bro, hey. TV. No. Don't, don't, don't get in more trouble, dude. Come on. Kill myself. No, you're not. No, you're not. Watch. No, 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 no. Cut it out. Come on, bro. Just, just come over here. You're fine, bro. Come on. Come on, talk to us. Come on, bro. Come and talk to us. Come and talk to us. Stop reaching for shit, bro. Come on. Just come out here, bro. Come on, man. We're in the teams. He's back there. Come on, bro. Just come out to us. If you come, if you come out, we'll call her. We'll talk to her. Come over here, bro. Come back over here, bro. Just come talk to us. Just come talk to us. Hey, can you call her, please? I'll stop. If you come over here, I'll call her. Come over here. I 
What do you think? Should I break that back that window? Come on, bro. You're stuck, bro. You're you up that transmission. You ain't going anywhere. Come on. Come on. You're not going anywhere. You fucked up that transmission. Come on, man. Tell James to go here and get on that side, Kenny. No, 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 because he's thin. He's that way. I don't think he has a gun, dude. He would have pulled it out. Dude, you're stuck. You're stuck. You ain't going anywhere. He puts it's, it in. It's not going anywhere, bro. We're what? not going to shoot you. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. No, 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 no. Should I chase him? Should I just. I don't know if the door's going to be locked, bro. I know it. No! I need a, we, we've got a phone here on the phone now. Huh? We don't have a phone. No. Come on, bro, we can be here all night. Come on! Come on, talk to us! You're stuck, bro, come on! Where's James at, man? James should be over here. James! Come on, James! Come on, bro! Come on, bro! Come on! Come on! Just do it, man! Come on! No, 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 no! Come on! Watch! I'm gonna do it! We're not. We know you're not playing. Hey, I'm gonna break that window. I'm gonna break that window. Break that window for me, then. Come on! Tell me what you want. Come on, come on, come on. Did he hit you? Yep. Okay, so I'll battery the other weapon. I'm gonna tase him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that passenger side and I'm just gonna tase him. Come on, well, let's go. I'm myself. No, you're not. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, man. Suddenly, the entire encounter turned dark when the suspect started making wild claims. The officers decided not to take any chances and took the proper course of action. The entire incident concluded soon afterward.
I'm calling your sister right now, dude. Oh, don't call my sister. I'm calling your sister. I'm calling your sister. Don't call my kids. No, I'm calling your sister. Don't call my sister, too. Call her. I don't give a fuck. She'll call my wife. I'm done. I'm killing myself. Too no, you're not. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Hey, bro, you're better than this, man. I know you. Hey, I have a gun. I have a gun, too. Pete, bro. We want to help you, man. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Put it down. Again. He's got the gun again. Put your, your hands up and drop the gun. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Take your time here, guys. Put your hands up so we can help you. Move your arms if you can hear us. Do a bird. Stop bird. Now you need to listen. Richie! From here on out, Richie, you need to listen. You need to put your arms out. The gun's about six inches away from his left hand. Hold on your back. Richie, come on, man. Let's get you some help, bro. Roll on your back. Just roll on your back, man. Richie, come on. Roll on your back. Watch out, watch out. Yeah. You got him, Kyle? The gun's right above his head. Fifty-five's right there. It's right there. Just have him go up there. I don't know. Where's he shot at? Where's he shot at? Where's he shot? You got a first aid? Yeah. You got a, you got a long shot. Yeah. You got a first aid? Yeah, try. Go ahead and launch him. Uh, got the bird? Uh, yeah, we can get the bird. Get, call the ambulance down here. Call the ambulance. Five, 55. Richard was rushed to the hospital and was able to survive the ordeal. He later received a dozen charges, including burglary, car theft, and several counts of assaulting police officers. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.